City councilors in Cranston once again addressing homelessness tonight. The mayor introduced the new ordinance essentially making one of his executive orders permanent, giving police the power to break up encampments on city property. Kayla Fish was at tonight's meeting and joins us now with why some say the measure is unfair. Kayla. Well, Mike and Shannon, the mayor's chief of staff tells me this is about safety, not just for city residents, but also those camped on city property. But some who attended tonight's council meeting are pushing back at that, calling this ordinance cruel and saying it treats homeless residents like criminals. We can do better. I know we can do better. A handful of people speaking out against a new ordinance proposal from Cranston Mayor Ken Hopkins regarding homeless encampments on city property. The mayor introduced something similar earlier this year, which was met with pushback. He later signed an executive order authorizing the police to break up the encampments. It's merely to protect the public and to protect the people of these encampments and to get them suitable housing. Hopkins Chief of Staff Anthony Moretti called this new ordinance a compassionate compromise. It still allows police to remove the encampments, but gets rid of any fines for violating the rule. It also notes police must work with people in the encampments and advocates to help them find a safer place to go. It is not intended to uh, pick on the homeless people or the people in the encampments. That's not suitable housing. It's unsafe, it's unsanitary, uh, it's subject to crime amongst themselves. But the ACLU urged counselors to reject the measure, saying it punishes people whose only true offense is lacking a home. The group called for a, quote, more empathetic response to the issue, a feeling echoed by some at Monday's meeting. They are our neighbors, they're Rhode Islanders, and um, rather than punishment, they deserve help. Some advocates also said there aren't enough resources or shelter beds to move people to. But until we can offer someone something better, we need to think long and hard about the choices that we're making to destroy property and remove people from what minor sense of safety that they might have. Now, nothing was decided at tonight's council meeting. City councilors voted to put the ordinance proposal in a committee to be studied further. Live in Cranston tonight, I'm Kayla Fish, 12 News.